Hi, my name is Vinay and in this video we will see the license installation of Microwind 3.5 but we would be doing and floating network license of the Microwind. So you can install the Microwind app. Uh, I'm having a bit old version but that's okay. The steps are the same. So as you start the Microwind you see that it mentions that there is no license detected but that's okay. Uh, you go to help menu register option and you will find that there is no lesson de description has been uh, mentioned over there so you have to copy this node id displayed so you can just copy the text and open a notepad and enter the details of this node id as i did just now so you can mention the license owner name organization the license type it's permanent or its evaluation version and you, you, how many users want a number of users required so I just say 10 for the sake of evaluation and uh, network type license type permanent I'm like floating it's a floating network license okay permanent and you can email this details to the said email IDs. The, probably the better is support at microman.net. So the mail will be directed directly to the license uh, issuer. Okay. So I just email these details to the requester uh, as a request and I wait for the license. Then we proceed ahead. Okay. So we have received the license files. In a while and this time we get uh, an LDF file which is my description file and I get additional two files which are for the network server so as you can see the micro is not licensed yet but that's okay we just proceed ahead with this I just copy all these three files and go to C drive program files microwind 3.5 folder and you will find one folder over there named as server enter into this folder and paste all these files so you have to confirm as an admin and if it asks for overwriting it just do it okay so for microwind floating network lessons it works on another networking uh, app this is the lesson server so as you can see now as I open this lesson server I don't get any error messages okay otherwise if I just remove this these two files maybe again I just delete these files from here so you can see that server cannot be industrialized and some messages you start getting about I just paste the files again So in this you have to just say start server so the server app will start sharing the license on the network but you have to allow him to access the network so just click on allow access also you can check my auto active and start on auto run at startup sometimes there might be errors this there might be error because my admin user must be stopping him to write in the operating system some location okay i just ignore this okay so that's it so as you can see that microwind is working on this port 3500 and this is the ip address in which it is using okay so on the client side you have to go to okay on the client side they uh, there might be two things at the server side and at the client side so i assume that on the server side this is what you have to do and same you have to repeat at the client also so assuming that this pc is on the client side so you have to go to help register again click on load license on the desktop network license and this is the ldf file you have to load so you can see some details coming up so this time the license expires in july but that's okay 
but you can see that nothing comes up over here i mean this is not showing anything and i try to restart the micron software so it starts up it shows message that it is successfully registered okay and at the server it will work because uh, it is the same node id it is being using okay so you have to make him a network version for that on the client side you have to do this oh there you can see uh, now it is showing this message that cannot connect with the license server contact your administrator okay so we try to resolve this now i was expecting this this thing so you have to again go to program files microwin 3.5 and again this time you have to go into micro 3.5 folder and in the system file you will find an file name as inetworkserver.cfj you can open this file in a notepad i just ignore and translate this so you can see that some default ip address has been written over there you have to write the ip address which was shown in the lesson server yeah that's it and just save this file okay now it's possible that windows don't allow the editing in the files which are present already in the c drive program files so i just copy this file and paste it on the desktop and now edit over here So I edit the file on the desktop and this time I just copy this and replace this file. So this is allowed. So this file has been updated. Okay. Alright, create a copy properly. I paste it twice. Yeah. Now we start Macron software. So in the server app, you can also see that it, it shows number of users are 10. That's what we requested in the last file details. Yeah. So we try to work around the software. It might take a while to check the lessons because Macron do not check the lessons immediately. Yeah, but then here we get the message. So I just see what went wrong. Ah, okay. I, I just see that uh, looks like I didn't replace the file properly. So I just copy this again and paste it again over here. Okay, now it should work fine. And but I have to also start the last server app again. Okay, maybe I start with this. It is not allow it giving me an error that I'm not allowed to write on the hard disk. So I run as administrator. Oh, it, the user might change. Okay, so I don't do that because if the user changes, the node ID will change. Okay, I keep it like this, and that's okay. Now we start running the micro 3.5 app. So this time you can see that uh, the IP address of your host or the client comes up. So now there should not be any problem. So the authorization has been accepted by the license server and the number of users which are connected to the server are listed over here. So this is what you have to do on the client side. You have to register the LDF file over here and you have to update this inetworkserver.cfg file to something like this. You can also give the system name, the computer name over here. So I just open the properties of my computer 
and it shows the computer name it says uh, vinay dash surface that's my computer name so that also you can place it replace it over here because the ip addresses may change frequently or periodically and uh, it might again you have to update to license file this so it's better to give computer name of the server and it should work seamless okay thank you very much